three. Let's say we got all our animations in. We don't, but for the sake of creating a tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now our, all of our animations are done. We got them moving like we want them to. We need to add a couple of additional joints. We do not want these joints connected to the skeleton, at least in Torque Game Engine or Torque Game Engine Advanced. Now, I don't know about other engines, but in Torque, we do not want these connected. So we select joint and click somewhere away so it's not selected. Then we create a new joint, and this one here. Oh, it says I'm in animation mode. See how helpful it is? So, not in animation mode anymore. Select joint. This is our root node. And we rename it root. It is not connected. It tells the game where the bottom of the model is. Then we unselect that joint again. Before we make a new joint, here we're going to make an I node. We do not. The I node tells the game where to put the camera in first person view. You can move this joint around. If you want it a little farther forward, you can do that. You can put it higher up if you want it like that. Uh, this will probably be fine right about here. We rename that over here also. It has to be renamed I, E Y E. Rename. And then if we have a third person camera, we need to do this again. So unselect choose joint, and we want our third person camera kind of behind the model and up in the sky. And so this is our cam node, C-A-M. Cam node. And there's another important node. If you want to actually be able to ride this model, you need a mount node. And we want that right here. Now, a lot of people want to connect the mount node to the center of gravity node. Uh, you don't want to do this. When you do that, it makes, it, it, it disables the ability to control head bob in the game. If it's disconnected, then you can control head bob in the game. But if it's connected, um, yeah, you can't control head bob, and it makes the player dizzy. People who are susceptible to motion sickness um, will not be able to play your game. And so you really don't want to have this connected, at least not if you're using TGE or TGEA. Um, and probably not Torque 3D either. So uh, we need to come over here and we name this Mount Zero. Now if you want your animal to be able to carry something in its mouth, or um, or be able to have a bridle on, you need another mount point. And so we make sure we unselect that node there and create another joint. And we can put a bridle or mount or however you code it into the game, whatever you want mount no node mount 1 to do. So you change it to mount 1, and we save it like this. Now make sure we're not in animation mode here. We're not, and we save as, and we're going to do rigged 3, and save. And when you're all done with your animation, then of course you export it to game format. For us, we use Torque DTS, and we split the DSQ export. We first we export the DTS, then we export the DSQs. Um, if you want to export your animations, you have to make sure they're listed here. Um, by doing this, you will add uh, add them in this Torque DTS exporter window. So we name it, and I'll um, call it tail twitch, and call it, you know, whatever you want it to be. So it's frame one and frame two. You have to know what frames you're 
your animations begin and end at, and you, you do those here. Um, you decide whether you want it cyclic, if you want it to ignore the ground, if you want it to blend, all those options are here. Click OK. Now you can see here that we have an animation available to export for DSQs. And um, then we would, if you want to generate a CS file, you can. You don't have to if you want to write your own. Make sure you have export animations selected if you actually are exporting the DSQs. And all the rest of this should be good to go. Um, you have to have all of your animations added. Uh, for us, we will probably have animations like idle, walk, run, crawl, uh, death, eat, sit, um, start, eat, and lay down, and sleep, and animations like that for all of our animals. So uh, you have to have each one of those will be entered here. You need to know wh where you did it on this line down here, um, you know, on your keyframes. You need to know this one starts at this frame and ends at this frame, and this one starts at this frame and ends at this frame, uh, because you have to enter those in manually here on the exporter window. And that's it. So make sure you save a name for it. Caterpillar Swallowtail. This is the Swallowtail Caterpillar texture, and we want it to match, so do that. And save.